Right is a prime example that there will always be something that needs to be fixed. And that doesn't go just for an RV. That just goes for, um, goes for having a place to live. Um, so we knew that there was a leak under the refrigerator, but we didn't know that this water has been sitting under this flooring all this time because there's nowhere for it to dry up at under through linoleum. So it is what eight thirty, almost nine o'clock at night, and now Honey wants to pull it up. But it's a good thing he did because we didn't know that the water was standing. We thought once we fixed the problem, that we were good. But nope. So we're gonna keep pulling to see how far the water went. Alright, wanna keep pulling it up and see what else we find? Yeah, that one ain't good. Uh. Okay. Like no water there. Let's pull this one and see what we can. I know this one is this warped right here. I can't pull that. What am I thinking? More water. Fantastic. There's always something right before Sukkot. But the devil ain't gonna stop us. We're gonna figure this out and keep it moving. Y'all's willing. Kids room to separate laundry and to plug up their tablets. And I looked down in this vent and I saw a witness. So I was immediately, immediately thought these kids been spinning this in this vent. But hubby said it's quite a bit of water. So to think of it, I think we may have wet it wet the heat. Something when we was washing the RV last night yesterday. I don't know, but it's a lot of water in there. And the night continues. Shalom guys, happy Tuesday. So today is a new day and we're gonna rejoice in this day and be happy that Abiyah blessed us and gave us the breath of life to get back to it and do what we gotta do to keep on being a light and rocking his kingdom. So, um, last night was a whole to do because we found um, water, standing water under our floor between the linoleum and the new floor that we put in. We also found standing water in a vent. And I think that it came from when we washed the rig on Sunday. Um, now I know what not to spray. And that there's water through that whole vent. Um, so we got to get that cleaned out, dried out, whatever. But today's a new day. Sukkot starts on Friday. We're leaving town on Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So today what I decided to do was come to the laundromat and get all of the clothes done. I'm going to come back with dad on Wednesday to get all of the comforters and sheets done. I have to break it up because between our our rig and mom and dad rig all the laundry won't fit in nobody's car because we have a truck but there's a flatbed like where are you going to put the clothes and i have four children inside of the truck so um so today i'm going to do that um i do have to go by walmart i have to go by hobby lobby um so long story short there's our kitchen floor is half done half pulled up half down so it looks a hot mess but we're gonna keep it moving um it always seems like when we're trying to do the feast days in the bible that it's always some type of advert ad something always happened um the adversary is always trying to throw you off but i knew that when i chose to walk this path that i would have a lot of that so i choose to not let that bother me and let the most high deal with those things because it's above me all I'm gonna do is cry and so that's that um, I am praying for a great day a productive day a day with my strength and my energy are on high because it's definitely a lot going on and I pray for all of those out there that are looking for the most high okay 
that's that on that. So I will, when I get back to the house, I'm gonna do a little video on what not to spray in the RV and um, where exactly the leak came from. So that's something that you can look for in your own RV so that you won't make the same mistake that we did. Until then, the clothes are drying. I'm ready to fold. I actually like folding clean clothes because I like the neatness of it. Other than that, say shalom, Peyton. Shalom. Say shalom, shalom. no one, Jay. Shalom. All right, guys. Let's rock this Guys, right, so I want to take some time and let you know exactly how the water got into the heater vent. This baby right here. We were spraying this sucker. Didn't know that the water was going straight in there and going into the vent. So that's how that happened. Um, don't spray that when you wash your rig. And don't spray this when you wash your rig. A lot of times you see people washing their v their RVs and no one stops to say, don't put, whole, don't put water in these things. Why is nobody covering this up? I'm putting... I'm covering that up with plastic next time because we don't want those problems the next time around. So, warning, don't get water in this or that. While, um, it's still Tuesday. We're trying to get things done so we can head out Thursday after my husband gets off. So, right now, he is changing the coolant and the oil in the truck. And he did mom's RV as well. Whew. That's full, babe. Yeah, there's another one. Goodness gracious. You getting it done, huh? Ooh, ain't no like a man that know how to fix stuff, boy. I ain't lying. Hello, right. guys. Happy Friday. Look at this fro. She's growing. She's a mess right now, but she is growing. So, today is... Oh, Did I say Friday? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday all day long. So, what we are doing, it is 6.30 in the morning. And the sun is shining so bright. Better than and we're in the children's room. And we're, what we're going to do is put up the laundry from yesterday. Um, do their dressers neat. Make a list of what needs to be done today. Um, clean up this room. Take all the sheets off everyone's bed. So yesterday we did clothes. Today we're doing all comforters and all sheets. And we're going to... Um, my brother's going with us to Sukkot. And he's going to stay on the couch. So... I'm excited. It's his first one. I can't wait for him to experience what we have experienced. Um, get this house together. Jeremiah has a haircut appointment at four, him and dad. Um, we also have to um, nails. Get, do I get our nails done? It's just what we like to do. Ooh. A mess, but I'm happy that she's growing. Um, okay, so laundry, we gotta go by the store. I have a six weeks postpartum appointment at 2 45. <clears throat> and I got a lot of things to do to get the house prepped for moving tomorrow. Like anything that's not tied down needs to be tied down, and I'll show you what I'm talking what about. doing is they're gonna go through, they're gonna take their shoes out, they're gonna disinfect their shells and gonna put their shoes back neat while they're gonna get started with that i'm gonna start unpacking this and cleaning their um organizing their drawer um hopefully we can make it to have a lot to get new knobs today i just have not made it there then we're gonna take all the sheets and comforters off everyone then we need to get up here and make sure everything is stuck down and we use command double stick tape to um and velcro too to make sure everything is, you fall every day you okay to make sure everything is stuck down because once this rig start moving you don't want all this stuff falling off that um train is just going to come down once we start moving this dresser which i'll do a whole video on prepping and doing the closed slides the slides have not been closed in four months so we're excited to get this baby moving but we're going to move this into the middle of this tomorrow but in the meantime we're going to stick these down to the dresser when we get ready to move, this is just gonna come off and go in his bed. There's gonna be nothing right here. Hopefully all the pictures stay, we'll see. Um, gotta fix this light here. This should stay just fine. Um, what you need, baby? Mind you, my floor is still, remember the leak we had? So, to hubby, uh, but between working and doing everything else to get us prepped, like oil changes, changing my mom's RV oil, um, 
he got to pack the bearings on the RV. He has fixed the truck. He has so much to do when he get off work. I doubt the flooring will get done before we head out. But we're not going to let this stop. Look, I still got that flooring. This is our new awning. It did come in. Yay! That fell down. I have to fix that. And then the command strip peel my paint off. But we're going to get that fixed. But it's a lot of stuff that I have to, I need to change the sign to have these to coat. I need to clean up this entire mess. We are done. Yep, Jeremiah, good job. Let's get started on that. You, do you want to wash your play shoes? Uh, I don't know if we can. I'm doing sheets and I don't want to put those in a washer with sheets. What the, yeah, but that's $3 a washer. That's $3 for some shoes, some play shoes. I don't know about that, baby. We'll see. All right, so we're going to get started. That The DVD player is just going to come down. Their TV is going to come down, and we're going to sit the TV in Peyton's bed so that while the RV is moving, it won't fall out. Even though it has those little edges, best bet, just take it out. We don't want no problems. Um, but, yeah, we'll show you where everything is going to go once the slides come in. We'll show you guys that tomorrow. Meantime, happy Wednesday. Let's get this rig in some order. Head on hey guys, out. So we are one day out before heading out to Missouri for Sukkot. And we don't have a wheel on there. You want to explain why? I was just doing routine maintenance, checking the wheel bearings. You know, I was just going to re-grease and repack them with grease yeah. and put them back on. But in the process of, I found one wheel bearing that was gone out. So now we have So to... that sound means it's going out? If it if, if what you, other sound it makes if it's not going out. If it sounds like that, it's bad. There's no grease in the bearings with no grease. That creates heat. Without grease, it will come off of your trailer going down the road. And that's how you see blowouts and stuff? That's how you see your tire pass you on the interstate. It just falls off the truck. Or trailer rather. So you're gonna try to pack it or you think it's busted at this point? No, it is bad. When you hear that sound, that is metal on metal. And there's no saving that because it'll never be smooth again. Once you hear that sound, it's done created grooves and marks in the bearing. So, I mean, we have to go buy a bearing. Right. Which is where? At a truck store normally. That's the easiest place to find them. Are they expensive? Nope. They're 30 to $40. Okay. Normally. So, now we got one. Are you going to go and check the rest of them, I guess? And see if the rest of them bad or? I checked one already and I'll check the other ones before we leave. You never check the rest of them now, so we can know. Or you gonna check before we try to pull out tomorrow? Yeah, I'm gonna check it because I don't have another. I guess I do have another jack. But oh, oh, okay. So you're saying you can't check them all because you don't have one jack? Right. Oh, okay. Not just because you don't feel like checking them right now. Right. Otherwise, you have to put the wheel back on and jack it down and all that. But now that they're ten, bad. they're probably all bad. You think? Not at all. Not necessarily. Nope. So what makes one go bad and not the other ones? Just well, happens. We had a short in our brake wiring on this hub here before we moved it up here. Is the short fixed? Yes, the short is fixed now. But what happened is when it shorted out, the brakes were dragging and the heat created uh, the, made the seal in the hub pretty much burn out. And when the, when the seal melted, the grease was able to come out of the hub. And when the grease comes out, that's when you have metal on metal. And that's what makes your bearings go out. So, long story short, guys, stuff like this. First of all, we want to make sure we give you guys this information so that when you get ready to pull off, check your wheels, especially if you're going on a long trip. I mean, forget a long trip. When you get, If you're moving your rig, check your tires. And we're going to check them again before we leave, you think? Or it should be fine? No, they'll be fine. Okay. We just want you guys to know this information because I was unaware of this. I thought we could just pull since we had new tires, but that's not the case. And I thought he was just packing grease in the hubs, but I didn't know that there could be a whole thing where the hubs were just bad and you can't pack and need new bearings. Well, Am that, I saying that right? Right. But they only go bad whenever you have heat issues for the most part. But hey, I get it. That wasn't oh, that wasn't good job, Noah. List. Okay, so and also know that stuff like this definitely can happen on any trip or before Nine times out of ten, something gonna happen before you try to pull out. It's just how it goes. All right, guys. Hope this helps and this information was beneficial. We'll keep you guys updated. It's Thursday, and I have made the bed up. The bed up. 
and I repacked my side station and I'm getting everything ready um, to hopefully pull in the slides later this, this afternoon. Um, so I'm going to take you guys along with me. Hopefully this trip goes off amazingly. Um, the, oh, it's so dirty. And my husband was working on the wheel, so I got to clean that off. But yeah, our wheel is still not on. But hopefully, I'll get that fixed. One thing I am going to do is empty this grease out of here because we don't want to move the RV and then come in here and find that grease is everywhere. So let's get that empty first. So, happy Thursday. So, we're going to start out with getting this together. So, I'm going to start off. Everybody's hair needs to be washed. So, I'm going to start off with mine. So, I'm going to wash it. And then, I'm going to condition it. And then, let it sit while I start on Peyton's hair. So, let's get going. It is now, I'll tell you what time it is here. Okay, guys, so it is 8 17, and I got my hair washed, conditioned. I got Noah's hair washed. I'm going to bring him up in four braids so it's easy to take down so I can wear his hair down tomorrow. Um, and then I'm going to start on Peyton. and I have washed and combed everyone's hair. Noah, look at me. Noah's going to wear his hair down, so right now he got four plaques to make it stay not tangled. Pay till him see your hair. How's your hair up? Ooh, girl. And enjoy your turn here and see your design. Oh, yeah. It's looking sharp. All right, now it's time to get this house in order. Um, I just slicked my hair down, middle part, scarf on we're gonna get to cleaning and bathe baby judah hey guys so i am cleaning because when we get to the campsite i don't want to open up a dirty rig so i got the couch cleared done just the baby there i wipe all the windows out um try to get that all six stationed so nothing falls out um i gotta change that got the kitchen area all cleared out I'm just going to have to sweep. Hey, be kind. I'm going to have to sweep them up. And then I'm going to take a vacuum. Yes, our floor still put a, taken apart. I got to sweep. Taken apart. There goes the leftover planks that did not get damaged. But um, I'm going to vacuum under the slide to make sure nothing gets caught. You don't want anything getting caught under your slides. Hey, hey, I'm on a video. Be quiet. And I got the kitchen pretty much broken down to the last little of the dishes left uh, like I said I'm gonna sweep them up clear all the shoes out I got that all cleaned up I got the oil dumped out of there so it doesn't fall over so um, yeah so I'm gonna sweep and I'm gonna start on the kids room. we do always with blinds we always raise them so that while the RV is moving they don't shake back and forth and get damaged with the shades and you can keep them down now normally we would you would think you could leave this here because it's a lip here and you think it wouldn't fall but the reason why you're not going to leave this ceramic train here or any of this up here is because if just even though this slide comes in if just so happen one of these gets stuck behind this slide you're going to have an issue bringing this slide back out so your best bet is to take it and put it lay it down so it won't fall move or get stuck behind this slide you'll be asking where's the tv you have to now this stuff is stuck up there so it's velcroed and command stripped down so we're not gonna worry about that we are gonna take this down though I'm gonna put it here. I'm so ashy, so forgive me, guys. I've been washing dishes, wiping stuff down, mopping. So, but we took the TV from here and we put it in her bed, laying down flat. Because even though it has this little ledge, it's better safe than sorry. Just take it down. But the rest of the stuff is stuck up there with tape. Okay, we're gonna keep it moving. So, what kind of try to break my room down? So, first, you want to make sure that you check 
besides all this needs to be put up so i'm gonna just stuff hubby shoes right there that's what we're gonna do all right done deal just double check this has to move he just put change anyway i'm gonna vacuum over here in just a second but what we're gonna do is just sit in here for now. Nah. I'll have to find a different place for that. But I have these empty things from the dollar store that I use to put this side handle stuff here. Again, because you don't want stuff falling on the side of the slide. What is this for? I think it's for a breast pump. So we're gonna just stuff that in there. I'm gonna sit it here, and this basket is on command hooks. I'm gonna pop it. Hold on, just so I just popped it out of the command hook spot. Okay, so we got that. These are clothes I need to put up. I just don't feel like it, so I'm not right now. This is my beautiful gift. I love that stuff. This stuff's nice. This is stuff I'm gonna get to my sister-in-law. So I'm going to keep it there because I want to be able to get to it without pulling the slides back out. So, um, I'm going to move these shoes. I'm going to put these on. And this can stay. I'm probably, let me see. I'm trying to see. Okay, so that seems like it's not going to move with my shoe. Um, so, we're going to leave that there. And this can stay here too. So, both sides have been checked. All right, so that's that on that. Got that off. Now, the TV must come down. Um, all of this has to come down. So, I'm going to just turn this off. Just going to unplug it. I'm go going to go ahead and put this in that basket as well. Just to keep things in one spot. So, let me get to it. I'm going to... Get, pull the rug up, roll it up, stick it over there. Everything off there. Oh, hi guys. Everything off there is off. Um, up here is off. So I'll put that there so I can remember to put everything close to back to where it needs to be. So we're gonna roll this up. I need the vacuum, but I don't feel like it. So I'll vacuum later, but let's get this on up. Um, Again, don't forget. Put those blinds up so they won't be jiggling everywhere. And I'm going to put this right here once we move the bed in. But I'm going to wait until we move this bed in to that. But the room is ready. The bathroom, there's not much you have to do. Um, I am going to, however, take this down. Where could I put this? I don't know. Let's see. There we go. There's a little gnat in there. Well, at least you smell good. We gotta stick this there. That way, it won't be moving. Put that in there and put that in there. Once my husband finished, he has to come in. But okay. And so the bathroom is, you don't have to do anything in the bathroom. It's pretty much done. Okay, so, so far at the children's room, again, I'm gonna come back through and vacuum this part up. We turned the table upside down because one of the legs are weak and until my husband can fix it, I don't want it wheeling on its leg, so I'll turn it upside down, put the chairs in, move the dresser, put it in the middle, because each slide will come each way. Forget Again, don't forget, put those blinds up. Shalom, guys. So as you can tell, it is still Thursday, and we are still here. We have not pulled out yet, because, oh my God, it's a long story. Okay, so let me just say it. Um... It's just it's been a long day it is almost six o'clock and we have not even put the slides in yet husband got off of work early thinking we're just gonna first of all that's a whole nother video i'm just gonna save it <laughs> and i'll leave that video below this video so you can see what i was gonna say but um he had to go find the part which was another I think a hub or I don't know parts okay he needed a part for this wheel and 
he went to Nashville into into Nashville to get it. Got it $160 later. Came all the way back here. Tried to put it on, did not fit. Had to go back into Nashville, try to find another part, take that part back. Didn't find a part in Nashville. Had to go to the next town over called Lebanon. Finally found it. And the sun is going down. And he's still outside hammering, trying to put the hub together. And he still wants, still wants to leave tonight. Yeah. What, a, what can I say? I guess I should just finish doing what I was doing and finish closing this house down. I just want to close all the way down and we don't leave and then I have to open our way back up. But guess what? It's the cold time and we're going to make it. And we can't do a seven hour uh, drive in one day. The babies are too little. And I, I don't I don't think I can sit that long because I know I'm six weeks out, but I still have some soreness. So um, we're going to try to hit three hours to Kentucky. Probably going to head over to Illinois and park it. We do have a reservation at RV Park and come to find out we have a funeral to go to in the morning. Perks of traveling. Something always comes up. So it is almost six o'clock. And I think after going back and forth to the park store three or four times today, finally got the right one. And uh, I'm gonna go in and start closing it up. Yay! So I took the candles off the table. I put them here. Um, so far, it looks like everything in here is ready to go. Check the clearance of each slide from the top to the bottom. Always look for any kind of trash. Make sure there's nothing that can scrape your floors. Check the clearance. Double check. Triple check. Trust me. The last thing you need is something else breaking in your rig. Okay, light off. This should be fine. All right, I'm gonna start closing down this slide to put that back, please. This has to stay down. Why? Um, so it won't fall in the, so it won't fall. So normally the kids room and this room is the first thing. Check, because this bed is gonna move. Make sure it is clear. Even something like this, pick it up, move it out of the way. All right, time to bring in these slides. That I need to make sure that this is cleared with that door. And I need to take the lights off of the RV because this slide is gonna come in. Check all windows, make sure they're up. Take all suction cups, come on, down. Why is my towel on the floor? Let's pick that up. So first slide is in. It has been a long time since that baby has been in. I wonder what's up there. I wonder. Do I want to look? Huh. Not much of nothing. All praises. Hey y'all. Okay. First slide is in. Secure. Goodness, I gotta go over there and close that. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Hold on. Uh, uh, okay, that don't go with that one. This one go to this one. This one. Make sure your stuff is locked. These are there for a reason. All right. Off, and you will all you will always close the door to each room. Not, it ain't an option. You don't want. Okay. Remember, blind up. Let me get my shoes. All right, close the door to each slot. Okay, that one's done. Double check all fans. Close it. Lock your shower. Off, off. Put that in there. Everything else should be fine. Can I this might fall, but. Not yet, baby. I need you to watch your room slide for me. I did. Not yet, princess. This. Bye, baby. Huh? 
lock your bathroom door so it won't fall. It's going down. Normally, I do not recommend pulling out in at night, but we gotta do what we gotta do. So, sewage is, on, is disconnected. Electricity and water is disconnected. The leveling blocks are up. They gotta move that one right there. All windows are closed, secure. Babies in check. <laughs> I filled up the truck. <laughs> Sorry, I filled up the truck yesterday, so she's full. Okay, landing blocks are up. Electricity is off. Double check. And okay, so I'm gonna put him in his seat. I'm gonna go around and check all the doors and get everything locked up. This stuff has to stay, but she says she'll watch it for us. And they're putting the rest of the blocks up now. Right here, baby. Right here in the side part. Daddy says stick it right there. Yeah, just stick them on up for us, okay? Thank you, sweetness. Go ahead. So now we are putting a bike rack on the back of dad's and mom's RV so that they can hook the bikes up. Once we get that done, we're up out of here. And through it all, he sleeps. But it's time to back up, so I'm gonna pick him up. It's time to back up to the Another RV. Another tip. Another tip. Always somebody stay out while he is backing up to the rig. Daddy on that side on the ones and twos. Got that baby wheel fixed. All praises. Thank you, most high. All right. All right. It's a wrap. We'll walk on down. Don't be getting nervous. I know. Just do what you gotta do. Ain't nothing to do. Just is that a full moon? Yeah. Is that a full moon? It's a full moon! It's a full moon! That means there's a feast day! Yep. Daddy, one block up. I I made my, my house with me. That was a good joke. We made it to Kentucky. Um, we're just stopping just so that we won't really force it and push ourselves. But you must, whenever you stop, always check your rig every single time. Just make it a habit. All right, we're gonna go in and get some snacks. <laughs> 